Global oil prices are rising, yet the U.S. economy is shrinking. That was supposed to be impossible. What's going on? Global oil prices have risen to $51 a barrel on the New York Exchange. That's a relatively healthy level. It's still wildly down, $96 down on the almost $147 a barrel that oil reached in its dizzying heights last summer. But then the Wall Street economic crisis exploded in September, and the U.S. and global economies have been in a free fall ever since. And since the United States consumes more imported oil than any other nation in the world, therefore it gets hit the hardest by oil price rises. But when the U.S. economy shrinks, and it shrank by 6.1% in the first three months of 2009, oil prices ought to tumble because the American demand for oil is falling. What's going on? What seems to be going on is that global traders believe Israel is going to attack the Iranian nuclear facilities because Israel is afraid Iran will be able to make atomic weapons if they don't act fast. Maybe the Israelis will attack, maybe they won't, but the fear that they will attack is already pushing oil prices upward. Not hugely at the moment, but they are rising despite the continuing free fall in the American economy. In the first three months of this year, from January through March, the U.S. economy contracted by 6.1%. That's a lot more than the 4.6% that was expected. This is bad news. This isn't just a recession. This is a recession galloping towards being a depression if things don't turn around. Yet the good news is supposed to be when the American economy contracts, energy prices are supposed to fall. Yet now they're not. We are currently in the worst of both worlds. It may turn around and the news may get better, but it hasn't yet. I'm Martin Seif for United Press International.